course is the primary entity of an LMS. This is the structure that a course in Frappe LMS follows. A course contains chapters. Chapters contain lessons. The main content of the course reside in the lesson. Chapters are used to group similar lessons together. Frappe LMS is built using Frappe framework. If you are not already familiar with the framework, you don't need to worry. You can still proceed with this course and learn how to use Frappe LMS. The primary component of Frappe framework is called Doctype. Almost everything in the framework is built using Doctypes. Frappe LMS also makes use of Doctypes. A Doctype is used to store information about a single entity. For example, a course is an entity, so information about the course is stored using Doctypes. Let's start by creating a course. The Doctype used to create a course is called LMS course. The search bar that you see at the top right corner is called the awesome bar. You can use the awesome bar or the workspace to land on any LMS doc type. Search for LMS course from the awesome bar. You will find an option called LMS course list. Click on it or click on the course link from the workspace. This is the list view of the LMS course doc type. It shows a few important information about the course for quick reference. To create a course, click on Add LMS course. You can fill up all of the relevant details about a course here. Give your course a suitable name. Fill in the instructor's name. If a course has multiple instructors, you can list them all here. If you have a preview video for the course, you can use the video embed link field to link it. For the course, choose a preview image. It is recommended that you choose an image that represents the course well. Include some important tags that will help users understand the course better. It can be short keyword related to the course. To publish a course on the website, check the published option. If this is not checked, the course will not be visible on the website. If the course is about to become available to the user soon, but not yet, mark it as upcoming. Note that even for an upcoming course to be visible on the website, it should be published. If you wish to display the course on the website but not allow users to enroll in it for some reason, you can check the Disable Self-Learning option. Users on the website will not be able to see any button to enroll for this course if this course is enabled but the course will be visible to them. Add a short introduction to the course. Add a detailed description. Save the course. Further down, we can link the chapters of the course. We will do that once we create a chapter. We can verify the same by visiting the website on the route slash courses. The course that we created can be seen here. To make visiting this page easier from the website, let's add a link for this page on the navbar. To do that, let's go back to the backend. Here, search for the doc type, website settings. Here you will find a section called navbar. We can add a link to the course page from here. Let's enter a label and a URL. Save after adding the link. Let's go back to the website again. You can now see a link to the courses page. You can be on any page on the website 
and just use this link to come back on the courses page. This is how a course is created on Frappe LMS. In the next chapter, we will see how to create a chapter for our course. Thank you.